Thank you. Thank you very much. I've recently moved to Maine and I have a new job. And I am a clerk for the court. And a big part of my job is explaining to people and telling them how much they owe on their traffic tickets. <laughs> they don't always like this. And uh, they can get very heated very quickly. So someone, you know, will call me and they'll ask and I'll say, okay, you have a speeding ticket, it's four hundred dollars. And immediately they're through the roof. They're like, I don't I don't have that kind of money. Uh can I give you fifty dollars and like kind of pay it off week by week? Like, no, unfortunately that's something we can't do. You have to pay it all at once. They're like, well, well I can't. I don't want to get arrested. How am I supposed to get to work? And I feel bad for them, I really do, because I can relate, because this is the exact relationship I have with the Lord. <laughs> every week I go to services, and every week I say, God, I know I did it. I know, I'm, I'm terrible, I've made huge mistakes, but I got $50. If you could just maybe see it, just accept that, because I don't want like the devil's bench warrant. How am I going to get to heaven? Luckily, God is a little more forgiving than the county of Macon Bib. <laughs> so that works out. Um, some people say to me, how can you believe in God? How can you believe in a God that lets so many evil things happen? And I say, you know, that's not really on God. Don't blame him. Blame physics. That's the fault of physics. Because every action has to have an equal and opposite reaction, right? So no matter how much good you're doing in this world, really, ultimately, you're just spawning more evil. It's got to balance out. So the way that I deal with this and the way I combat this is by doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> I lie in bed all day watching reruns of Grey's Anatomy so you can walk safely to your car at night. <laughs> um, another way that my faith helps me deal with anger is it gives me another perspective. Okay, pretty much every job I've ever had there's always somebody who doesn't carry their own weight. There's just somebody who just is not curious, they're not interested, they don't do it, somebody has to do it, that person is usually me. And it always made me really upset, and it got me very angry. So I changed my attitude, and I thought, you know, maybe, maybe God is putting these burdens of people in my path, you know, because having to carry their load ultimately makes me stronger. These people are basically offering a spiritual workout. And that is why we call them dumbbells. <laughs> that is actually very short, but that is all I have. Nice to meet you all. Thank you very much. <laughs>